Composting is the natural process of decomposition that turns organic materials like grass cuttings, plant clippings and vegetable scraps into a dark, nutritious and earthy material. It is rich in nutrients and is great for your garden, shrubs or even indoor potted plants. Composting at home can reduce waste, save money and improve plant growth in your garden. There are many types of compost bins and systems available. For a DIY option, rope four used pallets together or upcycle some old fencing into a box-shaped bin. This low-cost method can make an excellent compost bin, using wire particularly for leaves. If you would like the compost area to look tidy, a purpose-made compost bin is an excellent option. Plastic compost bins are widely available from local DIY stores. The compost bin should be placed into a shaded area of the garden. A pitchfork, watering can, gardening trowel, gardening gloves and a bucket are all useful gardening tools when composting. A kitchen caddy is a useful piece of equipment that will make the collection of food scraps from the kitchen easy while keeping odours down and insects out. Purpose-made caddies are widely available. Most materials from the garden can be used to make compost. This includes greens from the garden, grass cuttings, garden plants, cut flowers and house plants. Avoid adding any invasive weed that spread by root, such as bindweed or diseased plants to your compost pile. Brown material from the garden such as leaves, twigs, hedge clippings, shredded trimmings, straw, pine needles and bark are also great for a composter. Greens from the kitchen can also be added. These include fruit and vegetable peelings, cooked and uncooked leftover vegetables, cores and rinds, stale bread in small quantities, pasta, rice, grains and cereals. A vegetarian diet is best for your composter. It is not recommended to add dairy, meat products, even animal bones, dog poo, fats or oils. These products cause bad smells and attract pests. For a healthy, well-balanced compost, you need the right blend of brown and green materials. Most materials coming from the garden are already well-balanced and can be composted on their own. Just chop and moisten. When adding food from the kitchen or grass cuttings to a composter, it is recommended to balance these with browns from the garden, such as leaves, twigs or hedge clippings. A composter needs oxygen and moisture. Therefore, it helps to sprinkle new garden materials with water before adding to the compost bin. For open bins, rain can help keep materials moist. With the right mixture, your compost pile should not smell bad and when finished, it will have an earthy, soil-like smell. When adding food to your composter, empty your food caddy on top and mix with the existing materials below. Then cover with a fresh layer of mixed garden materials or leaves from the previous autumn. It is always important to bury food within your pile so it does not smell or attract pests. While not necessary to make good compost, occasional mixing or turning of the compost can add air and speed up the composting process. If you're not seeing progress after a few weeks, make sure the pile is kept wet to the touch but not soaking. If the compost pile smells and looks too wet, mix in more brown garden materials such as leaves, chopped up garden plants or hedge trimmings. It can take up to a year to make compost. Your compost is ready when it looks and smells like soil. You'll be left with a dark brown, almost black soil-like layer at the bottom of your bin. It should have a spongy texture and be rich in nutrients. Incorporate it into your garden beds before planting or sprinkle it on top of existing beds. Compost acts as a natural fertilizer to nurture your soil and plants. Add it a couple of times a year for best results.